It's okay. I'm a um, Christian, all right? I have Jesus in my heart. We're it, all people. I care about her, too. It's okay. It's okay, Sarah. It's okay. Um, why don't you take a break, Sarah? It's okay. We love you. And um, I don't Sarah, want you. Sarah, well, you're buzzing to charge anyway. So I, I don't want you to get upset. Please don't feel yeah. bad. Oh, no, I'm fine. I always hard to because the right thing. It's always everybody hard. said you're cool. Mm -hmm. Don't I cookie coming in? Hey there, girl. Hi. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm oh, doing cookie. really well. I'm beautiful. And Sarah is Sarah T is a lovely young lady, and she is beautiful, and she has Jesus in her heart. However, I do not. Oh. And I have some stuff I want to say, if you would allow me, Sarah. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. Chantal, foodie beauty, can eat all of the And she can go and eat all of the This fake ass apology to her can go she can go and crumple it up into that little ball and shove it straight up her ass nobody believes this energy she's trying to give she's fake as fuck. she's not sorry because if she was truly sorry and truly wanted to change she would have done this before she allowed her cat to have its claws go into her paws before she would have thrown cat biscuits on the floor to feed her cat she would have taken her cats back to the vet she would have cleaned that villa so they had a beautiful space to live in she would care about the landlords changing the carpets because she would have kept her carpets clean mm -hmm. eat in a ditch, foodie. I hope Salah, 15 women before you get over there. I hope you get all the diseases. I hope all your pickles are sour. Off and keep off. That's all I wanted to say, really. Don't tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Foodie, See, this is why I think it's okay bullshit. to have opposite opinions because yeah. it's healthy. It's healthy. And I don't think we should be coming hard on Sarah T because she's never come at foodie with this energy. This is this is how she is with everybody. She's not soft. There is a hard. sweet soul, you guys. She doesn't flip flop. She wants everybody to be okay. She still has hope for foodie. I do not. I think Chantal is just one of the worst people I've ever encountered in my entire life. She doesn't want to change. She's just trying to get some face back because everybody hates her guts because we don't like animal abusers. And she's been outed as a prolific long term animal abuser. Uh, beauty by Rose, why people. why did we not keep it real? Why? Because because we're saying that we don't wish I've always her. maintained is that, that why? why you think we're gonna we're you th do you think we that we're kissing her butt or something? Oh. I don't wish harm on anybody. That's just oh. me as a person. Yeah, but I do, I do want Chantel to be accountable for her actions. Yeah. This is the same energy I give when I talk to Sarah privately. She doesn't go back and forth. This is the same energy ha Sarah has for Chantal. She doesn't want bad stuff for her. I do. I want her to stub a toe every time she walks a place. I yeah. want her uh, uh, holes in her clothes, itchy skin. I want really bad And I'm okay with that too Chantal. because that's those, that is those feelings. And I, yeah. I respect those feelings. And Sarah um, doesn't feel the same as me. No, no, Chantal, I don't want you to die. I want you to be really, 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 really uncomfortable for the rest of your life. And I hope your life is really, 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 really long. So it's really, really, really bad. That's what I want for you. I'm mad at, I do get mad at Chantal a lot. Chantal, when you, that cat should have went to the vet the minute that people offered. Um, BBJ. No, no, no. That cat should have been gone to the vet because Chantal Oh, I know, but I'm saying, right I'm saying when, to take when, care of an when, elderly cat. Yes, she the should cat not have been should... forced or pushed to take her cat to the vet. She should have done it because she knew it was the right thing to do to take care at a base level of your animal. When when that thing happened, when Pete said BBJ wasn't right, um, you should have allowed the mobile vets to come to your house because people offered to pay for it and people offered to do it like, um, how do you say it, without... Uh, well, well, you don't tell you were home for a month. And wait, you wait a minute, not even that. You why were, taking why her were you driving high? Were why her. were you driving high? That's what I want to know. Why were you driving high? Don't even try to deny it. Answer that question why were you driving high that's what i want to know don't even try to say that you were not Perfect. you were driving high chantel you were driving high okay uh, so it just shows that you don't change okay it just showed right now we just said right that that this like you were talking about sarah actions speak louder than words and uh, when you when you leave here how you're going to act you right now you just proved you will never change it's over and over and over and over the same thing mm. the way you speak we all know you so well Yep. And you were driving high. Don't you dare. Don't you dare lie. Don't you dare oh, lie. Yeah. Uh, it, so, Chantal, this, what's a, real? It pisses me off oh, that you put I... that hijab on and act like you're a good Muslim. Oh. And here you are sitting here. I'm sorry. Just like. No, no, you go. Go ahead. No, go ahead. What does real abuse look like? You're what, gaslighting what us now, Chantal. You are gaslighting us. Do you us. mean hitting a, a cat? Do you mean kicking a cat like Nada did to BBJ? Is that real abuse? I would think ongoing neglect, such as not bathing her, brushing her, putting food in a clean bowl, in a clean... So you know what, Callie, you can kiss my fat ass all the way. She has fertility issues. And...
She has fertility issues. And she has fertility issues. And where were people? Oh, oh, I'm sure if none of her audience are, are the ones who sent any diapers to my house, right? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna block you if you don't shut your mouth. I'm going back to blocking people. I swear to God. Like my VIB chat. No, this is where I come to have fun. And if you don't want to support me for whatever reason, then stop watching me. Because I did nothing wrong. I never, ever, ever. F I'm not gonna fuck from people who just want to give me shit and look for anything to give me shit over. Try to make me look like a bad person when I'm a very good person. And you're not gonna convince me otherwise. You can say whatever you want in my comments, but you're not gonna come in here and take my abusing time away by accusing me of stupid shit that fucking happened, uh, whatever, like years ago, uh, that didn't even happen. Area allowing her nails to grow into her pores, which doesn't happen overnight, that happens over days and weeks. Two grown adults could not observe cat's nails seeing them grow into her pores. I did not even fertility got close shame to the pads you. Stop, that should have stop been taken putting words in. Uh, no. I'm sorry though, I'm sorry. I did not fertility shame you. I did not all, fertility shame you. That is so you. stupid. Well, this is what I told you, and this is the truth. First of all, you were making fun of me, which I could care less. Oh, she doesn't speak good Arabic. How do you know? How do you know? Because Salah- You don't said, speak Arabic, so how would you even know? Yeah, second of all, what I said was something that's the truth mm. because I lived there, I grew up there, and I know how it is. You, um, you can't have children, and the most one of the most important things uh, is <laughs> for that to carry the family name okay then don't tell me he's modern schmodern uh, don't give me that kuwait is, is a conservative muslim country and his mm. family is going to want him to have children and kuwait you can't adopt so don't be telling infertile infertility shame because i told murad so how is that his family okay with that like she she can't have kids she has a terrible no past. You know, Chantal, i've never called you a hippo i've never said that about you in your life so if you, somebody said it, it wasn't me so don't put that on to me oh, one I person says one thing like it's not a collective you did <laughs> it's not a collective group if one one reactor says one thing about you that is on them you do not lump that on an entire community it's not all of us saying it that's one person keep it straight and Pete said you smell like blue cheese. So go talk to see, your ex best friend about that. He this said is that. the reason, Chantel. See, you already said you're. Oh, I'm gonna. You're on. You're, you're on. on take accountability for shit. Mm -hmm. You're on YouTube. You're if you don't want people shit. in your business, you're on YouTube. I was translating. Your mama wanted me to translate, so I was interviewing Murad. And one of the things I asked him that didn't make sense to me is how is this 20 year old man wanting want to be with somebody and his family's gonna want because family uh, it always interferes with your choices okay. and family want you to marry somebody that is that's healthy that can have children that's respectful that's educated that's a good housewife etc etc and having kids is literally on the top one that's and you're okay. none of those things you don't meet one single kpi that a mother-in-law would want in any culture that's and don't I'm come at us trying to say all this stuff now you what did you wish Didi saying that you 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 wanted Didi to get you know what i can't say that on here because you you you, you know what you did you know what you, you said, said that you did. wanted Didi at best to get choked out and hurt by a matter that's what you said about Didi. you didn't give a crap what happened to her and i've got a clip of you here, saying that so don't even what, try to pretend i'm gonna give chantel the link if anybody needs to get down if you want to come up and talk let's have a grown woman conversation how about mm. that how was Didi abusive to you? How how was she abusive? That to doesn't you? matter. You? She could say the worst things about you in the world. You don't wish that on another woman. Let's have a grown woman conversation. Absolutely. Because even we talk, we don't we don't like you. We don't An even say that either. We don't ever say, say that. An empath would never say such a thing. A victim would never say such a thing. They would never want that for another woman ever. So Jennifer, whatever her name is, why are you hating on me so bad? What did I do to you? It's okay. Just you know, it's. I mean, it, it, people are. She does. Not everybody's going to agree with you, unfortunately. That's the nature of, um, that's the nature of being here. I'm. S I don't know how you do YouTubers do it. How do you do it? I don't take. We don't go on every day, and we we, we take, take breaks. And yeah, we don't and we take. Have real I don't take that, that we like. I just realized that. that there are several people in the world, and they have their own opinions, and that's okay with me. Yeah. I don't yeah. take. I try not to take it personal. So. Thank God there are nice people in the world like Sarah T, though, because if everybody walked around like me, the world would be a very angry, fist-fighting kind of place. We need people like Sarah T to make the world softer and gentler because yeah. we can't all carry the same energy, and that's good. She won't come up. She's too much of a poor Sarah. Why do you have to go, foodie? I feel like a pig, but you know what? I'm going...